The Guam Regional Medical City is looking into a report of some pediatric nurses who reportedly left the unit unattended. This is just one issue in the growing list of concerns facing the hospital, which was forced to shut down its cath lab due to a denial of H2B visas and just last night, its pediatric unit. A nursing shortage, a CFO vacancy, suspended open heart surgery program, a closed cath lab, and now a closed pediatric ward. These are just some of the issues GRMC management is having to deal with. To add to that, management is also looking into whether some pediatric unit nurses walked out or left the unit unattended. Those are some issues that we're actually looking into. And so, again, given that possibility, we're still looking into that, that uh, it, was, it was in our best interest for the patient safety point of view that we close the ward down while we uh, look into that uh, reported uh, walking out. In the absence of these nurses and because of an overall shortage of nurses, GRMC has had to shut down its pediatric unit. And, um, and um, th there's about three, three resignation in this past few days before, before we have to decide to close the, the unit because we just can't safely staff it. GRMC says that even with their pediatric ward closed, they are still able to see pediatric patients. We'll continue to see patients here in the emergency room or in our urgent care. We have the, uh, the subspecialty pediatric physicians that are going to continue to man the emergency room. But if anybody needs an admission, then uh, we would have to transfer them to, to GMH. But it's not just pediatrics that's closed. The hospital's cath lab shut down too, as well as its open heart surgery program. Now, what does this mean for the heart attack and stroke patients? Unfortunately, our, our people are dying of heart attacks 10 years younger than the national average. Something needs to get done, and so this is still what we want to do. This plans are still in place. We still need to get it done. We have the equipment, we have the supplies, we have the cardiac cath lab. We need the specialty nurses in place, and uh, hopefully bring back some of the doctors that have otherwise left, uh, waiting for for these for the situation to improve. Despite the fact that the cardiac uh, catheterizations are are no longer being done, the uh, the, the catheterizations for stroke are still available. So I just want to encourage the public that uh, stroke is an emergency and it is something that you need to come to the hospital immediately for. GRMC says they are actively recruiting nurses both local and off-island. Dr. Cruz says they are hoping to reopen their pediatric unit within a couple of weeks.